agencies of software companies, marketing trends with a human touch, and how about that TikTok Shopify partnership? All that and more on episode seven of the CMO Weekly. Hey everyone, I'm Mike Pru and welcome to the CMO Weekly. We begin with a look at the future of agencies. Forrester predicts that the mashup of talent and tech will make agencies look more like software companies. In its latest predictions report, analyst Jay Patasol asserts three big calls. First, AI-based automation will take over repetitive tasks in order to fill the gaps formed by significant layoffs and other cost-cutting measures that have plagued agencies this past year. Second, agencies must bolster their CX, e-commerce, and tech capabilities as CMOs prioritize business initiatives solved with a much broader definition of marketing. And third, the chief people officer will take center stage as one of the most coveted roles as agencies must transform in order to support smaller, more flexible, and representative teams. I've linked to Forrester's public blog post right below in the show notes where you can purchase the full report. Next, Deloitte released its 2021 Global Marketing Trends Report, and they all seem to anchor around humanity. Things like purpose, trust, participation, and of course, human experience. All things especially important during the COVID era of marketing. What Deloitte found is that a quarter of respondents walked away from a brand who was acting in their own self-interest. And one in five strongly agreed that when seeing a brand's positive response to the pandemic, it actually increased their brand loyalty. Let's talk about social commerce. A few days ago, TikTok announced a global partnership with e-commerce platform Shopify. As part of this deal, Shopify merchants can now easily create, target, and measure native TikTok ads by simply installing the new TikTok channel from the Shopify app store. And a new Shop Black hashtag challenge will amplify Black-owned businesses, merchants, and entrepreneurs. This will no doubt have a positive effect on DTC brands who are looking to reach Gen Z. And finally, from TikTok to a TikTok competitor, this past week on NECN, I spoke about the growth of Triller, its new ad products, and the upcoming Tyson Jones boxing match that is sure to give the platform a lot more visibility. Here's a clip from that segment. Um, So let's look at what Triller is looking to add, though, to, to stand out, to move past just being like TikTok. Yeah, as we look out to the horizon, what the company has touted is the fact that um, right now they're very much into sports, so they paid a ton of money to have rights to live stream the Mike Tyson and Roy Jones boxing match that Mm. happens at the end of November. So that's really a big deal, and they're planning on being able to get a lot more users to the platform because of that event. They're also looking to the gaming and fashion industries as a way to diversify the type of content that's on their platform. And the other thing for advertising professionals like me is they're continuing to launch uh, new and different ad products. So one thing that they recently launched was a product called Cross Hype. So what it does is it allows brands to, in effect, purchase influence through influencers, much like they do regular media. You can see the full NECN segment as well as detailed content from everything that I talked about today in the show notes below. And I will see you all next Sunday for episode eight of the CMO Weekly.